Hey, what's up guys? This is episode 11.5, I believe, and what I've said uh, that I was going to be doing this episode is I am going to be changing my camera for those of you who'd like to have a free camera instead. So that's what we're going to be doing, actually. Let's go ahead and um, create ourselves a new camera script. So this, this tutorial is going to be fairly fast, sorry about that, but I just want to, you know, I just want to help the people who, who want that kind of mechanic in the game, so I'll be calling this free camera. Uh, yeah, so free camera is going to be fine. All right. Oh, but yeah, before we get uh, into making the script itself, let's actually create a second joystick. So uh, if you have the joystick container over here, let's simply go ahead and duplicate it like this. Now call this camera joystick container. The name doesn't really matter, but at least we can differentiate from the move joystick itself. All right. Now let's go back inside of our new free camera script. We are going to declare up here a public virtual joystick, which is going to be our um, our camera joystick. Let's just call it that, why not? All right, so the camera type we're gonna be making is a third person, third person around the ball. So let's go ahead and declare the field that we're going to need for that. The first one being a uh, float distance field. I'll be setting mine to 10. After that, we'll need another value that we'll call current x. Let's put it on zero for now, and also a current y. Let's also put that on zero. Now, I like to add a sensitivity as well, so sensitivity x is equal to zero, and private float sensitivity y is equal to zero. Okay, so these are the field we need. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need. Let's go ahead and down here in the update, let's start updating our um, current x and current y. So we're, every single frame we're going to do current x is plus equal, then we're gonna do camera joystick dot uh, input direction dot x times sensitivity x. Now every single frame what we're going to do is increment that value uh, by the, the, the second joystick x times the sensitivity. Now let's go ahead and do the same exact thing for the current y. So current y is equal to camera joystick dot input direction oops input direction dot y times sensitivity y. Now um, I'm just wondering is this no, that's the wrong value. I shall have to put Z, I believe, because we're not using the uh, the Y axis on input direction. Okay, so that's it for our input, and now we're going to code the rest of the uh, the update inside of another callback that we are going to call late update. Actually, we're not going to call it. It's called late update, and it's being called from Unity itself. So make sure you do no mistake in the spelling this. And a uh, late update is basically an update that is being called after the uh, well, the first update, basically. So we have the time to gather the input before actually moving the camera, which is really useful because when we're moving a player around, um, it's just it's just that the camera is dependent on on the player's movement. So if the camera updates and then the player moves, then there is a small offset and it can it can create some lag and you know it's not going to look great in the end. So by calling this in a late update, what happens is um, we make sure that the player moves first and then we update the camera. So it's just for uh, the script calling order. All right, so now let's get ready. Let's set up our movement. We're going to do vector three uh, that we can call direction is equal to new vector three. And then we're gonna do zero, zero, minus distance. This is going to give us uh, pretty much just the offset we want. So this this is some kind of offset right here. Minus distance is going to put us 10 meter behind the ball itself. All right. Then after that, we're going to do quaternion rotation is equal to quaternion dot Euler. And then we'll do current Y. So make sure that this is the Y first. 
and then current x. And as for dz, we're going to be putting a 0 in there. All right. So we pretty much calculated our stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, actually move our camera. So the camera is on this very object itself. So make sure that you drag and drop the free camera on top of the, the, the camera so we can use a transform like this. We're going to do transform.position is equal to um, the player's position, which we haven't declared. Oh, OK, that's fun. All right, so a small break out of this update function. Sorry, I'm going a little bit too fast, that's why. Um, up here, we're going to declare a public transform that we're going to call look at. So this could be pretty much anything in your scene. Oh, uh, forget the capital D. All right, so this can be pretty much anything in your scene. In our case, it's obviously going to be the player. So public transform look at. Now, when we move our camera, we're going to be using the look at position as a base. So we're going to be putting the camera right on top of the player. And after that, we're going to add rotation times direction. And this is pretty much the math you need. You need to multiply your vector 3 by quaternion to get another vector 3. So this is going to give us the offset of where the camera is uh, related to the player. All right, so let's just uh, let's go ahead and try this out in game. We we don't tackle the rotation just yet, but uh, we're gonna do that in a moment if everything works. So on your main camera, I'm actually going to disable the camera motor because this is this is the one we use right now, and uh, we're changing the way we're doing things. And uh, let's go ahead and drag and drop the free camera now. Now this takes in a camera joystick which we have right here. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it right in the new field and it also takes in a lookout parameter so I'll also go ahead and drag and drop my player in there. Now the joystick are pretty much stacked so let's um, let's actually change that a little bit. We're gonna choose the camera joystick, make sure you choose the right one, change the anchor to bottom right and I'll be doing this by clicking here and then holding shift and clicking again. So now I'm moving both the anchor and the pivot point. After that, make sure that the position.x is equal to 0. So it's going to go snap uh, right here. Now let's go ahead and press play on this. We get some kind of awful behavior. And if we try to move around... Oh, that's a little bit weird. Okay. Are we even moving around the player? No, we're not. So we're going to be fixing this right now, actually. Okay, so the error is quite simple, is um, we actually get the input direction of the joystick, but then we multiply it by zero. <laughs> That's because the sensitivity is not high enough, um, obviously. So we're going to change that. I'm going to put, say, 3 for sensitivity x, and y, I'll be putting 1, because I don't want to be moving as fast up and down. Uh, then I'm moving left and right. Okay, and let's actually go down here and add transform.lookat which is a function, uh, a, a extension of this transform type. And in here, we can simply send a transform target. So let's go ahead and type in our own look at transform. All right, so with this script, now everything should work fine, hopefully. So let's go ahead and try to move this around. And as you can see, it works like a charm. So that's... Uh, that's that's going to be pretty much it for the free camera guys. So for one of you that really wanted to wanted to use this, then uh, here it is. That's two joystick. Just know that the, uh, in the next few videos we're going to be adding some kind of uh, abilities for our ball. So maybe uh, I'm thinking about a dash right now, and I want to have a button at the bottom right over here that is going to be uh, pretty much just a button that activates the dash. The dash. So. Whenever you press on the button, it's going to do some action on our ball. So I'm only saying that because I'll be putting it down here. And if you guys still use this free camera, um, then you're going to have a conflict on where exactly to put that. You're going to have to make your own uh, UI decision and where do you place your joystick and whatnot. All right, so that's going to be pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, please leave me a like. Or if you have any question or comment, leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe for more tutorial and make sure to ask your question. And uh, if you have any more suggestions, just go ahead and put them in the comment section below as well. 
So guys, thanks again for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next episode.